I only just recently noticed that he's standing on top of construction like the original Donkey Kong. It's pretty cool. This boss always causes me trouble. It's just hard because if you want to do it quickly you got to make sure that he's coming down the side otherwise he flies all the way over to the other side of the screen. It takes about another 6 or 7 seconds. time it just right because these cycles get longer every time. And I bulge that up. This is my favourite world. Although it can be quite challenging. If you haven't guessed, I always fail the bonuses on purpose because it's quicker. And you don't need them for 100% or 101%. You just need to find the rooms. so easy to get caught out on this level. The later part of the level gets really difficult but luckily there's a skip which you'll see. This part always catches me out because he changes direction like that. And you end up jumping straight into him. But I got it right that time. Here's a hard bonus to find. If you don't know it's there. There's a platform there at the very bottom for some reason. And this is the skip. If you do that jump with Donkey in front, he'll fall straight into the barrel, but if you do it with a Diddy, for some reason he'll go further and fall into the barrel above. I didn't realise what Kong you had affected how far you flew in the barrels. This is probably my favourite level of the game. Or one of them. This next bonus just ahead can be quite tricky because you can accidentally destroy the barrel you need on one of these bees. I played it safe there and I still lost one of the cons. Oops. Should have jumped across with this barrel because then I wouldn't have had to climb the ropes, but never mind. Mess that up. That's why there's a DK barrel that's here. These crocodiles get me every time. And this jump is very hard if you're stuck with Donkey. Luckily I did he. I 
That B always gets me usually, that's why I waited. It's actually quicker to climb a rope like this for some reason rather than jumping from rope to rope. I have to do this level in two parts because for the life of me, without actually looking at someone else's playthrough, I can't figure out how to get this first barrel with Winky. You need Winky later on in the level for the next battle. I'll just play it safe here. Do that twice. I'll jump off here. It's so easy to get hit by that crocodile and once you lose Winky there's practically no chance of getting her back she runs off too quickly that's the barrel you need Winky for I think it's Winky or is it no, no I don't think no Winky's oh I can't remember I'll call her Winky I think it's Espresso actually this part's easy to get caught out by I don't need her now but it's just quicker to end the level with her that's the end. Now I have to go back into the level and get that other barrel. It's probably quicker just to run right without her but it's, I find it much safer to use her to get to this barrel and then jump off her. Here. There we go. I do this but you don't need to finish the level you can just start and select as long as you've already finished the stage once and there you go another good level there's not really any, there's no secrets and you just gotta get through it the gimmick of the level is that you get chased by those octopus thingies or whatever you call them But as long as you don't stop, <clears throat> you shouldn't have any trouble at all. Stop for that one. I don't think you need to. I think you can go straight ahead. I'm sure there's a secret around here. But you can skip those barrels and it cuts quite a lot of level up, but I can't remember how to do it. Perhaps I'm imagining it, I don't know. On guard, the swordfish buddy is just ahead. That barrel always shoots me into that shark. And it's just frustrating that you can get on guard, which does help get through a jellyfish field, but it'd be nice if you could have it at the beginning of the level, I think. He's just up here, yeah. This just seems pointless, getting them so late on in the level. We've already done the majority of it. As you can see, it's a lot faster. Here's the jellyfish field, 
go straight through it with him. The gimmick of this level is it's really dark and you've only got squawks, a little light to help you. But it doesn't cause much trouble. Reminds me of the final castle, Bowser's Castle in Super Mario World where you get a little spotlight. You always hit that barrel, I always misjump that. Shouldn't need the shouldn't need the midway barrel. These guys, Donkey Kong can jump on, but Diddy can't, he just bounces off and ends up dying. So I play as Donkey here, even though Diddy's my favourite. The secret's just there. That's the end of the level, it's quite a short level. One more to do for this world, and then I'll save. Always save up to the boss. This level always goes either very good or very bad, it's never in between. Not for me anyway. Hopefully I'll do it this time though. It's just jumping on tyres, if you're not precise you can just slip straight off of them. And these guys as well. Got to time your jumps accordingly. can be tricky. You have to get that second bounce so close to them. I'm guessing that barrel helps you get past some bees just further up ahead but you lose it as soon as you go in this bonus barrel anyway so the point is picking it up. These ones. I just died on one of them anyway. Well, lost one of the King of Kongs. And that's it for this part. It's my time. Thirty-two, sixty-five.